going to put this over your face just for the headrest to sit on. John is having a procedure that would usually require him to be sedated with drugs. Just check it's on. Instead, he's going to watch Murder on the Orient Express. And does it feel quite comfortable under there? Yes, oh yes, yes. It's all part of a unique trial at the Royal Bournemouth Hospital, using TV headsets to distract patients who are having minor ops with a local anaesthetic. The patients we've used it on already are really excited by it. Um, a lot of them have managed to catch up on box sets or programmes they've missed. They've sort of finished their movie and we're like, the procedure's over and they're like, oh, I didn't really realise anything had happened. Today, Claire is treating John's enlarged prostate by threading a tube in through his groin so she can inject particles to block the blood supply to the gland and make it shrink. Mr Cowan, how are you doing? You OK? NHS radiologists are doing more and more complex procedures like this while patients are awake. But currently, around three quarters of them still need sedation. You end up being in hospital recovering for longer. Some people have to stay in overnight, so we would prevent that need being needed. Also for the hospital we would free up a nurse so we wouldn't need a sedation nurse and so I think it's cost saving all round really. After an hour and a half both the film and the operation are over. Oh good timing. <laughs> you, you're still conscious of um, what's going on around you to a degree anyway. You know you can hear people talking and um, strangely remote from what's going on at the other end. <laughs> But uh, no, it's good. In fact, the only potential problem might be a patient picking something that's too funny or too scary. Laughing and jumping would probably require me to ask them to change the actual programme they're watching because we do need them to be still. So not recommending horrors no. or comedy? No. <laughs> it's hoped this six-month-long trial will Hello. prove that replacing drugs with distracting videos is worthwhile for both hospitals and patients. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Bournemouth.